and welcome to another edition of the Jacksonville Buzz. I am your host, Adrienne Houghton. And joining me in the studio this morning is Artie Clifton from the First Coast Wind Symphony, which is the most premier community music orchestra, really, isn't it? Well, thank you. It's good to We're be very here. proud of what it's we do. It's good to have you good here. To see you, it is. So, when was the First Coast Wind Symphony first established? We are, this, we are in our 34th season, so 1990 is when we started. Wow. Yeah. And it's a 60 piece group, a community band of very fine players, uh, professional and community members of the area. And it's an all volunteer, nonprofit organization. So our goal is to contribute to the cultural life of Jacksonville and make Jacksonville a good place to live. Provide opportunities for folks to come and hear good music played live and free of charge. Free and admission is, and free parking. This is, what's, this is what's so amazing. You've got this magnificent group performing. They're not being paid and you don't charge. And you've got these, this audience that comes out to watch you and I think it's absolutely magnificent. So you, I know, have a few events coming up. We do, yes, I'd like to tell you about. And I think they correspond with also receiving national awards. We're very proud of the fact that we received two national awards, uh, actually first announced in November. Yeah. So they're both 2023 awards uh, given annually uh, to uh, community bands. And uh, the f one is from the John Philip Sousa Foundation. They present an award to the band that they consider the best band of the year. Uh, and they give this annual award called the Sudler Silver Scroll Award. And uh, this uh, group the, was founded, this award was founded in 1987. So each year they choose a top band from, uh, from the uh, US and they, they grant this award. And the award is gonna be presented publicly at our concert on May the 5th at Jacksonville University, where we'll be playing a concert at 3 p.m. on Sunday, May the 5th. And we'll have a representative of the, of the Sousa Foundation there to give the award. The other award we received was from the, the American Prize, which is an organization in New Jersey, and they give lots of arts awards each year in various categories. So we received an award from uh, them for community bands. And, and so we're very proud to represent Jacksonville and to re have received this award. It's, it's so nice to know that we have this ability, you know, and we've got, we've got a lot of talent here, obviously. We do. And it's amazing. Do you have trouble finding people to join the band? Not really, because uh, once you s are successful, you know, that, yeah. that sort of breeds success. It took a while, though, did it? Good, good players want to play in a good group. So yes. once you establish that, that you're a fine ensemble, folks want to be a part of that. We do have an audition process. Uh, ah. Yes. Tell me, tell me about that, just in case there's anyone, a any, Anyone that's interested that plays a woodwind, brass, or percussion instrument can audition to, to uh, be a member of the group. We have those auditions in August and December. And uh, uh, you, you just simply come in and, and, and place, play your, your, your best piece. And uh, then we have a particular instrumentation that we maintain. So if we have an opening uh, and you're qualified, then we, we slip you in uh, that way. So uh, folks, once they get in, they, they like to stay in because they enjoy playing. Of course, of course. Now, Artie, I, I'm, am I right in assuming that you're the music director? I'm the music director, right. So are you the one that choo chooses the programs? I do, yes. We have, we have a conductor, Paul Weichel, who's over at FSCJ. He also does co-conducting responsibilities with me now. And uh, he and I together help choose the program. We have a wonderful program on May the 5th I wanted to tell you about. Yes, do. It's a varied program with a lot of exciting music. We call it a family concert, so it's music for anyone, to, everyone can enjoy. And uh, what we have is uh, we're gonna play the Olympic fanfare to, uh. because we have the Olympics coming up, the Summer yes. Olympics in France. Uh, we have uh, soloists, uh, Megan uh, Rios is gonna be playing the beautiful uh, theme from Schindler's List. Oh. That movie is 30 years old and we're gonna mm. celebrate that. We also have to celebrate the 20th anniversary an anime soundtrack. The, the anime movie uh, Howl's Moving Castle is now 20 years old and uh, there are beautiful themes from that and we're gonna play that and we're actually gonna show video clips from the movie as well. That's, I mean, you've also got a, a, a tour coming up. Tell me about that. We don't sure. have a lot of time left. Sure, the tour is, uh, this summer we're gonna go to Vermont 
and uh, we're going to be playing with the Vermont, the uh, Burlington Concert Band the first week in July, and we're playing a Fourth of July style concert with them, and also uh, on July 4th, they're, they're, we're playing with them on July 3rd, then on July 4th we're doing a pre-concert event for the uh, Vermont Symphony at Shelburne Fantastic. Museum. So Fantastic. that's this summer, and then next summer, uh, June of 2025, we have a tour to Prague and Budapest. <gasps> And uh, those are two wonderful cultural cities, and we're looking forward to playing with uh, groups there. And we're playing at a music festival in Prague, and uh, seeing, of course, the sights in Prague and Budapest. So we've done trips to uh, uh, Vienna in 2017 and 2022 to France. And so this group likes to travel. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, Artie, uh, always a pleasure to have you here and find out what's going on with the First Coast Wind Symphony. It's great to be here. Thank Good you. Good luck and congratulations on your awards. Thank you so much. And don't forget, if you'd like to know any more information, you can find it on dailynewsnetwork.com.